Next is paragraph type questions. Paragraph for question 51 and 52. It says that to find the solution of the equation graphically, we used to draw the graph of left hand side and right hand side separately on the xy plane and the points where these graphs intersect represent the solution of the given equation. We are well known with this. For example, to find the number of solution of the equation e raised to the power x into ln x equal to 1, we write the equation as ln x equal to e raised to the power minus x and we draw the graph of y equal to ln x and y equal to e raised to the power minus x and we get number of points of intersection as number of solutions, right? So, 51 says that number of values of x satisfying e raised to the power minus x into sin x equal to 1. So, we have sin x equal to e raised to the power x. Now, we draw the graph of sin x and e raised to the power x and we will find the number of points of intersection as number of solutions. So, let's first we draw the graph of sin x from minus 2 pi to 2 pi. Right? So, this is the graph of sin x where this is pi by 2 comma 1. Right, this line is y equal to 1. Let's now draw the graph of e raised to the power x. We know that at x equal to 0, y is 1. So, it will be passing from this point. So, the graph is something like this. Right, so number of points of intersection as it can be seen is 2. So, correct answer is option number C. Next is question number 52, which says that number of solutions of the equation log to the base 2 mod x equal to mod x minus 1 whole mod minus 1 mod. So, let us firstly draw the graph of right hand side. So, graph of mod x is like this. So, mod x minus 1 will shift 1 units downwards. This is the graph of mod x minus 1. Now, if we take mod on this again, so the graph will be like this, right? The graph is this one. This is the graph of mod x minus 1 mod, right? Now, again, let's make the graph of mod x minus 1 mod minus 1. For that, we will shift it 1 units downwards. So, the graph is like this. Shifting it 1 units downwards. So, this is the graph of mod x minus 1 mod minus 1. Where this point is 1 comma minus 1. This point is minus 1 comma minus 1. And this is 0 comma 0. Now, taking its mod once again, our final graph will be This is our final graph where this point is 2 comma 0, this point is minus 2 comma 0 and this point is 1 comma 1 and this point is minus 1 comma 1, right? This is our final graph. Now we have to make the graph of log to the base 2 mod x. So, for that we know that at x equal to 1, y will be 0. So, it will pass through this point at x equal to 1, y will be 0 and at x equal to 2, y will be 1. So, it is passing through these two points. So, the graph is like this, right? Similarly, on the negative side also, it is passing through this and this point. So, the graph is like this. Now, Number of solutions, that is number of points of intersection is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, correct answer will be option number C. Next paragraph says that sometimes we use trigonometric identities to find the roots of an equation. For example, 3x minus x cube upon 1 minus 3x square equal to 1. To find its solution, we will put x equal to tan theta and it will make the identity tan 3 theta equal to tan 45 degrees. Now, one possible value of theta is 15 degrees. Thus, the possible value of x is tan 15 degrees, which is 
2 minus root 3 right now similarly we have to solve question number 53 which says that one root of the equation for x cube minus 3x plus 1 by root 2 is equal to 0 maybe so we are given over here that 1 by root 2 is equal to 3x minus 4x cube so this can be solved very easily if we put here x equal to sin theta so we will get 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta is equal to 1 by root 2 so we know that this is definitely equal to sin 3 theta that is equal to 1 by root 2 now 1 by root 2 can be written equal to sin 45 degrees which means that theta can be equal to 15 degrees so let's check for theta equal to 15 degrees root is equal to x that is x is equal to sin 15 degrees now we know that sin 15 degrees is equal to root 3 minus 1 upon 2 root 2 so from the given options we can say that option number a is the correct choice next is question number 54 which says that the possible value of x satisfying x into root of 1 minus x square is equal to under root of 10 minus 2 root 5 divided by 8. So here also let's again put x equal to sin theta. So we will get sin theta into under root of 1 minus sin square theta that is cos theta. So this is equal to under root of 10 minus 2 root 5 divided by 8. So we have sin 2 theta is equal to under root of 10 minus 2 root 5 divided by 4 which means that sin 2 theta is equal to sin 36 degrees that is theta is equal to 18 degrees. So we have the possible value of x equal to sin 18 degrees and that is equal to root 5 minus 1 divided by 4. So correct answer will be option number I hope all the questions is clear to you. Thanks for watching.